I'm, I just remind ourselves what is a process, and uh, I could say it's a repetitive sequence of action, something that we do that generates an, an output. Usually they talk about an input, um, some way or some method, and then some sort of an output. So if I've got a product and it's in the factory and I'm testing it, well, the, the input is the product and some instructions, and the method is to carry it out and check that the product works. And then we place it in a box, for example, or in a particular place, or we mark it, or we note it in a database. And the product hasn't changed, but the status has. We can say, aha, these have now been tested. Okay, so the delivery is an output is that it has been tested. Okay, so let's have a look at processes in procurement. And um, they've been there for a long time. They're very central because uh, they help us uh, do the things that procurement should do. Procurement means, clearly enough, buying products and services um, to support whatever the business is. Uh, I come from a project management background, and procurement can be very relevant in that. For example, uh, they decide to build a new tram route. Well, clearly the people who, who specify that, they're not going to go out and build trams. They're going to procure the trams. They're going to procure the tracks and so forth. So uh, procurement is a way of, of delivering projects. And, of course, usually they're not cheap. And uh, so procurement is, is very often a large part of the expenditure of a company and payroll costs. And maybe those two together cover most of the costs very often. So we need to keep them under control. And therefore, we say, well, okay, if we've discovered a good way of doing it, then we require people to use that good way every time. Uh, if people were chopping and changing and trying their own ideas and so on, uh, then if somebody has found a good way of doing that, a good way of wording contracts, for example, and then somebody else rewrites, it duplicates the work, and it's not so good. So the idea of procurement process means something that's repetitive, uh, that we can use again and again. And um, then that helps us uh, optimize life cycle costs, for example, for a product. Uh, we can build into the processes uh, business rules, technical rules, legal rules, and so forth, so that when the process is implemented, those requirements are met requirement in the sense that you have to do it because sometimes in projects requirement is something people want but they don't get <laughs> but here we're talking about things that are going to happen and then of course if you found a good way of doing things and you do it every time well then it makes things life easier and you get the best payback minimum effort and minimum risk and so forth so that's the, the basic idea of process in procurement, and we're all familiar with that, I'm sure. Um, this statement, I think, is, a, is another way of saying the same thing, but maybe more simply, that the procurement processes save time and money, they reduce risk, and an extra thing that I didn't already mention, they make sure you don't forget important points, because the process says, well, do this and do that.